Hello everybody, it's Rhonda. Welcome to my channel. I am here with my Saturday morning mates, which will be uh, something little projects that I'm working on. But first I want to do a little flip of my journal. I had been promising to show this. So I have just a few new pages this one here um was a page that i did my daughter granddaughter and i went to this little restaurant so i just ended up putting the little packet on this page and then just told what we had and then there's some journaling under here uh, this page here just using little things that were laying around um the little boy and girl here and then this little boy over here are from this little book here and not a whole lot of stuff um on these pages but this was um one day that i saw a little butterfly fluttering around in my yard before i went to church on that day and if you have followed me you do know the story about the butterflies so there are a few little butterflies on this page this right here was taken from um one of the it's called the big golden book of stories 365 stories i think that's how it is but uh, June the 3rd is not, you know, the day that I did this, but I just thought this little piece was cute. So I put it in here. And then this page, not a whole lot. There are a few pieces from um, a kit by Paper Pippi, her Patreon um, little kit that she sends out each month. And I did use a few things out of there. Uh, this little piece up here, um, the little ice cream truck, shoes cool, and then this little glass. Um, this little girl here is from this book here, and I am enjoying the little pictures out of here. And then this page was made with... Um, I'm thinking this is from uh, one of my Instagram friends, Yaya. I think she sent me that little Hello Kitty. Um, this is from the Paper Pippi kit. And then um, this little guy is also from that little children's book. And then just added some little things that were laying around. I think these two stamp images here are from my friend Elise. Uh, I added some pom pom. Here's a little tuck spot with some journaling. And I think that's all I have right now in my journal. So that is that. And then I have a little Dollar Tree haul. And that is the only place that I have been out to today. And I needed to pick up some things uh, for my little project over here. But I needed some of this craft paper. I needed uh, some ink pens. I needed highlighters. So I picked those up. And then I am in a little fall swap. So I picked up some of these little cupcake toppers to put in the package. I also uh, found these. They are just little notepads. And then there were some little ink pens. So I would be putting some of these in the package. Uh, these little cupcake holders. Uh, these are good to fold and make little pockets out of in your journal. So I picked that up. Um, I needed some post-it notes also for the little project. And I picked up some toothpaste, 
toothpaste while I was in there. And then I ran in food line to pick up some tea because I need some tea also. So this is the little project that I worked on this morning. Uh, I did a few more. And then um, I have did... I did two last week, but I got up this morning, so I ran out of the brown paper, so that's why I had to get this. So this is my Saturday morning mix, and this is not my ideal. Um, it's called Blind Date with a Book. What does Blind Date with a Book mean? The meaning of the Blind Date with a Book is that you are buying a book for yourself or a friend without seeing it first. It is the easiest way to avoid judging a book by its cover and you will never know what you will discover. So it's like when you're going on a blind date and you don't know who you may meet. Um, so you're going to have a date with a book. So I got, um, as far as the wrapping idea was from lyric lover here on youtube and i did try to look for some other um little books that people were wrapping and i thought hers was the cutest so this is one i did and um after you wrap your book you can put like little points on it to kind of let people know what type of book it's it is and in this one is um you marry someone who's already married you break up and your paths will cross again so that's what you can expect something like that in this book but um lyric lover does a fold where you end up with little pockets and then you just add different little things in your pocket so there is a little notepad there is some tea down here in this one, um, a bookmark, and then I add an ink pen. So that is the reason for the highlighters. I want to add a highlighter in also. And um, I just use little stickers and cut aparts, and they are from, it's called The Book Club, and it is by Photoplay. So I got this last year because I made some bookmarks for the craft show. And uh, I used some of this paper. So I did have some left. And that is what I'm using uh, to decorate these little books with. Uh, this one does not have anything on the back, but uh, some of them do. And then also I forgot, I got some of these acrylic frames from the Dollar Tree. And that is to put my little sign up because I'm planning on take them, taking them to the shop uh, tomorrow for the Farmers and Artisan Market Day. Here is another one of the books. And some of my fold or folds are not the same. So if you go over to Lyric lovers crafts you will see how she does the folds and i think on this one i folded my last fold going this way and then this one was going the opposite but i guess it doesn't matter because you still got your little pockets to put your little stuff again i just added some of those stickers off of from that um paper pack and then there are some little tuck spots for some journaling cards it's one right here and then on the back of this one I use my little stamp in the story begins this one is just plain but I did add a few little Christmas stickers um, and then um, this little tag and then on the back I did tell who the author was and then I let them know that it is a used book because you can use new books. You can use gently used books also. You just let the 
person who is purchasing it know. Um, this one here, same thing using some stickers and cut aparts, a uh, little sticky notes, a little card here, there's your T, and then I will add a ink pen and a highlighter. This one is plain on the back. Um, this one here is, I decided to try another kind of fold on this one myself. And all I did was made little folds. One is here, here, here. And then they're just little pockets. So a pack of tea, the little card, the little sticky notes, and an ink pen. And then this is the back of this one. And then this last one, I used um, a piece of wrapping paper is uh like the wood look uh this is the back there is a little card but on this one after i made those folds i still added another little extra pocket and i just use a piece of paper at the bottom so that is how i did this one again your little cards and then the little note that lets you know what this book is about is a love story intoxicating a family life in an exclusive place so that's that one and then again the back so this is my little saturday morning makes project and i hope that you enjoyed it um if you would like to see me do this fold here uh, you can leave a comment, and then again, you can go over to Lyric Lovers Crafts, and she will, she has a video that shows you how to do these folds. So, if you like this video, I hope you give it a thumbs up, uh, leave a comment, um, check your little notification bell, so you can make sure that you get the notifications of a video. Have a great day, and I will talk with you later.